when we talk about the heart, we're talking about that in us that loves. All of us love. We all love many things. But we love in a whole variety of different ways. And the things that we love draw us into difficulties and conflicts, frustrations, disappointments. Sometimes we love two things and they clash. Sometimes loving one thing means giving up another. Uh, sometimes the things that we love come to an end. They go away. They decay and die. Sometimes they betray us, disappoint us. The heart suffers many wounds. The question really is then, how to love while still being inflicted in those sorts of ways? How do we continue to live in a world of love? Love that we receive, love that we express, when so often we are so hurt inside. Shakyamuni Buddha was concerned with the question of bitterness, the question of how it is that we become incapable of receiving and giving love. In a way, the whole Buddhist path is about that, about what he discovered in his own quest and what he passed on to others about how to continue to be in the flow of love, to receive the love of those around us, to receive the love of the spiritual ancestors who have put so much into this world, to reflect it, to be carried by it. You know, love is not something that you kind of uh, go on training courses in. <laughs> we are moved by love. It's, it's, uh, it's what brings us to life. It's what makes everything individual, everything special. Love makes things an end in themselves. It's not a means to something else. And that's because love is the end in itself. It's the reason we're here. It's the whole purpose of our life and our being. To receive love and to give it. To reflect it into the world. Almost like, uh, like the moon reflects the light of the sun. So, the difficulty lies in the fact that love draws us into a situation where there is a great deal of pain. And then that pain can become a barrier that stops us from loving and from receiving love. Yeah? So the spiritual exercise, one might think initially, one might think a true spiritual exercise is to do with how do I love? But actually probably even more important is how do I open myself to receiving love? When the, when the heart is wounded, we put up a barrier. And that barrier, first of all, is a barrier that won't let anything in, in case I get hurt again. The receiving of love is the key. To be able to open the heart to the receipt of love is how we free ourselves up to a process that will then transform us naturally. It's not that we have to learn how to love in a do-it-by-numbers fashion. We have to open ourselves to its influence. 